everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to do a chakra cleansing with a chakra wand. Chakras are um, energy centers all along your body and they're basically organs that you can't see, you can't um, feel physically. It's part of kind of the energy force all around us. But chakras do need to be cleansed in order to be working properly. Say you're having problems just speaking up for yourself and being heard. It could be that your throat chakra is um, kind of clouded over. You need to cleanse it and need to let that energy flow. You need to get the energy kind of from the universe to come down into your chakra and re-energize it, give it nutrition so that it can flourish and you can speak your mind and be heard by others. It's that kind of idea. So yeah, it's a little bit kind of out there subject, but I think it is getting accepted nowadays and I definitely believe in it. It's really cool and if you really put all your effort into it, you can really actually feel the chakras and the energy flowing through it. Um, and once you realize it's the same energy as kind of crystal healing, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing um, once you can be open to it and feel the energy and know that it's real. It's really, really amazing. So yeah, um, I just want to tell you how I do a chakra cleansing, which is a form of meditation and a form of just cleansing these energy centers. This is my little kitty. She's running around. <laughs> She's trying to see what I'm doing. So as I showed you guys in the previous video, this is my new chakra wand that I love very, very much. It's awesome. And I use this to cleanse my chakras in a meditation. So um, I lay down on my bed. You can lay down or sit down anywhere that's comfortable. So the first thing you want to do is just have everything shut off. You could have some relaxing music if that'll help you. Um, candles are wonderful to bring positive energy into the room. But make sure that they're on a safe place <laughs> where they're not going to catch anything on fire. Um, hey, sweetheart. Uh, rock salt crystal is amazing to have going. That will, will bring in lots of positive energy and take out the negative also in the environment. Um, having low lights helps you concentrate and relax. And just have a room like room temperature um, and have a comfortable place to sit or lay down. That's what I recommend. So once you're all set up and you're ready to meditate, oh, and make sure that you either put a note on your door or just warn people that you're doing a meditation and you'd like um, half an hour or so um, or an hour just to yourself um, for them not to interrupt. So that's very important because you don't want to be really meditative in the middle of your whole thing and somebody walks in and asks you something. So <laughs> yeah. This particular chakra cleansing utilizes crystals and the crystal wands which I'm a big fan of and love to work with crystals. And what I've learned to do is you're going to want to take the side of the wand that is rounded and has the clear quartz on the ends and put it to your first chakra, which is the third eye chakra. <laughs> He's like a unicorn horn. <laughs> but you put it to that chakra and you do this when you're already relaxed. You've taken some deep breaths. Um, you're just really calm, your mind is more still, and you're ready to be open to opening your chakras and cleaning them. So you take your deep breaths and you're ready, and then you place it to your forehead. And you do it this way so that the energy, the old energy that you want to put out, get away out of your body sort of thing, it travels through the whole wand and out the pointed, so that's why you put it this way. And you want to turn it counterclockwise on your forehead, but you want to be holding onto the crystal that coordinates with that particular chakra. And they're in order on the wand. So you can hold it at the end here on the silver if you like. And you just turn it holding onto the crystal because that is the crystal you want to access and help clear the particular chakra. It takes a little practice to get it uh, 
it all aligns there, <laughs> but it works really well. So you want to visualize while you're doing this. As you're turning it, um, all the energy, the positive white sparkling energy is coming in and just cleaning away all this dirty, darker energy that's in your third eye, clearing it almost like you're washing a window um, so that everything is perfectly clear in there and your third eye can see. So you want to picture it uh, just going out and you want to picture it clearing it, clearing it, clearing it, and all the dirty energy just going straight out of the wand and away from you. And then once you feel that it is clear, it is good, um, and you can picture it being completely clear, you want to change the directions, still holding the top one, and go clockwise. And just imagine the clear, wonderful, divine love energy coming in and filling up that chakra, making it full of just love and white light and all that and just going straight into it and empowering it again. So you do that for every single chakra, doing your deep breathing as you go, and you should feel just wonderful and rejuvenized and open to anything once you're done this. So I hope you guys have a really great time trying this out, um, and I wish you all the best of luck with your new chakra wands. Um, and of course, if you don't have your chakra wands, there's so many other ways to do it. There's, you can have the coordinating crystals, place them all on your different chakra centers, and you just visualize the same thing and do the meditation that way. That works fine. And you don't even have to have the crystals. They're just kind of, they're like an extra set of hands. They just, in, they just, um, the crystals just enhance the process. And um, I just love their energies and it really helps me to have them around. So I like to infuse them in my meditations. So I like to incorporate them in my meditations whenever I can. Of course, you can just do a straight visualization. You don't need any crystals. Um, just picturing all of that dirty used energy um, being cleared away from your chakras and the new beautiful white light and divine love energy coming back into them and filling them up and re-energizing them again. So yeah, I hope this helped everyone and I hope you have a really great time trying it out. And I wish you all the best of luck. Okay, talk to you guys really soon. Bye.